not only has it been a male dominant sport, but it's always been kind of a, you know, a punk scene, you know, a bunch of, you know, dirt bag skating and stuff like that. And I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of girls haven't quite gotten into it because there is some intimidation to get into a scene like that. It's intimidating and it's all boys and boys, men, you know, teenagers, and they're flying around going fast and it's not easy. It'd be real easy to give up, to go to a skate park and just be like intimidated and go, hey, I'm, I'm out of here. The pink Homo Flossy is three girls who skate really hard. One day she just looked at me and goes, why don't you ever bring me? And I was just like, really? Like, okay, you want to skate? Like, I didn't think I just bonehead dad, like didn't think that she had any interest in skateboarding. You go to a skate park, it's 99% boys and that's intimidating for for little girls and it's probably hard. I remember one little boy went up to her and said, can you even skate? And she came up and told me that and was kind of devastated. And I said, Bella, you know, you just need to prove that you can. It's hard that you, you have to prove yourself. That's just life. They're little savages, they'll snake her and she's not, they're just more aggressive. You know what I mean? She's not aggressive. She'll wait her turn, but if somebody takes her turn, she'll wait again. It's a male dominated sport, you know, at this point, but there's nothing that says that that can't change. They have the ability. It's just, no one's really pushed it to the point where they could actually get. And I think that we're finally getting with, with this generation, we're finally getting to the point where they could get to a certain level where they're equal with the boys. I want to be a professional skateboarder one day. I want to skateboard for my whole life. Um, I like to skate. Uh, I think that's all. We went on Ellen, we were getting brand deals, and they even made a movie about us. And how did you get that name? We got the name from our pink helmets, and everyone in the skate park like called us the pink helmets. I still skate, but probably not as much as I used to. It started to feel like I just wasn't a cute little girl like skating for fun anymore, and it just started feeling like I always had to prove myself. I stopped skating when I was pretty little. It was fun for a while, but it was pretty hard because I didn't really know any other girls who skated, and I don't think my parents really cared about keeping me in the skating scene. I was the only girl at my school who skated for years. And eventually I think I just pretty much stopped because nobody shared that interest with me. I definitely regret that I quit skating. I definitely still feel nervous at the skate park sometimes, especially alone. I definitely think it's slightly related to me being one of the only girls. I try to not let the other guys intimidate me and I've gotten better at it as I've gotten older. But it's still sometimes hard trying to prove myself and fight for my spot. I feel like a lot of girls don't skate because they feel like they're not supposed to. I feel like people think that certain sports are too rough for girls. I also feel like parents don't encourage girls the same way that they'll encourage boys.
I guess I would say if you really love to do something, then be your own encouragement. And don't let discomfort keep you from doing what you love. You might have to prove yourself a lot, but don't quit your passion and regret it later. If you're one of the only girls doing something and people are trying to make you feel weird about it, just keep doing your thing. Ultimately, when I see you doing something you love, they won't be able to say anything or take that away from you. This dog used to be mine. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> she, she takes a lot of stuff from me. <laughs> but I have a new and improved dog. Nice. Okay.